Welcome to Odysseus and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad business trip. Now, Odysseus was a guy that came from a place called Ithaca. So if you see over here, this is a nice little island off the coast of Greece. Um, now, a woman named Helen was kidnapped and taken from her home to be, to be married to a guy over here in Troy, despite the fact that she was already married. So the king sent, of course, an army and a whole bunch of people over from Greece come over here. And one of those guys is a guy named Odysseus. So he comes over here to Troy, plays his part in the war, and then it's time for him to go home. So he and a bunch of his other war buddies take their different ships, and they've got their sailors in there, and they're like, all right, here we go. So they get on their boat. Whee! Right. And right when they get on there, Zeus is like, I'm mad at you guys for leaving this thing early. Like, you guys shouldn't have run away like that. And so he goes, and blows them off course up here to Ismaris. They don't stay there very long, pack up their boat again, and set back out. And then when they get out here, they really get hit and get blown all the way over here to the island of the Lotus Eaters. So the Lotus Eaters are a bunch of people that it's basically drug island, right? They eat these lotuses. They're so chilled out, they don't care about anything. Um, and you'll just stay there forever with the rest of the Lotus Eaters. Well, um, Odysseus' and sailors think that's a pretty good deal. They're like, hey, this sounds great. And, but Odysseus, on the other hand, really doesn't want to stay there. He wants to get home to his beautiful wife, Penelope, who lives in Ithaca. And so he, and his, he makes all of his sailors get back on the boat, and they go sailing, and they're just kind of trying to find their way toward Ithaca. They're like, we think we're somewhere south of it. So they go north and land here on what we now call Sicily. And here they run into some cyclops. As you know, a cyclops is a one-eyed monster uh, that's really big. And they get in some trouble there with the cyclops, end up poking his eye out. Cyclops happen to be the sons of Poseidon, and so Poseidon is now really angry at them. The reason it's bad that they made Poseidon angry is because Poseidon is the god of the sea. And they have to take a boat to get home. So you can see how things are about to be awful. Anyway, they get back on their boat after stabbing the Cyclops in the eye, and they head up here to the island of Iolos, where the king there gives them a bag full of wind. Well, this wind is supposed to blow them nicely back over here to Ithaca, but they get just a little way off the shore, and Odysseus's jewel of the, the jewel members of his crew decide to open that bag of wind and out comes the wind bl bl blowing everywhere and they end up back here at the island the king says all oh, sucks to be you guess you're gonna have to find your own way home and so off they sail and this time they end up here in the last dragonies these guys are cannibals So they decide that they're going to try to eat Odysseus and his crew, get a couple of them, and they uh, take off as fast as they can, ended up over here with a sorceress called Circe, who also tries to eat them by turning all of the crew into pigs. Once Odysseus kind of tricks her back into releasing them, um, he hangs out there for a while and is like, well, I really do want to go back to my wife Penelope back over here on Ithaca. And so Circe's like, well, that's great, but you need to go see Tiresias over here in the land of the dead. Land of the dead. And so they talk to a bunch of dead people, one of them, whom is Tiresias, and Tiresias says, all right, this is how you get back home. So then they sail back to Circe, and Odysseus is like, okay, Circe, so this is what he said. Now, how do we get home? So she draws from the map. She was basically, go this way. There'll be a bunch of sirens, and then you'll see a monster, some monsters called Scylla and Charybdis. Be careful. Um, there's an island down here with some sun cows. Don't stop there. Don't eat the cows, right? And so they're like, okay, cool. So they sail on, following the map. They go this way until they run into the sirens. Sirens are beautiful half woman, half monster that sing to you as you pass by to try to get you to wreck your ship or to jump off your ship and drown in the water. Um, they all block their ears so they can't hear them except Odysseus who's like, hey, hot woman singing me songs, sign me up. So they put so they tie him to the mast so that um, 
he can listen to the sirens as they go through because you know that's what heroes do uh so then he goes they go through this little strait right here and here there's this big whirlpool monster called charybdis and there's also a big monster up here called scylla so it's s-c-y-l-l-a and charybdis c-h-a-r-y-b-d-i-s so um charybdis is a giant whirlpool and scylla is a big monster with like six tentacles that one likes to eat people and if you're far enough away from charybdis that you're not getting pulled in by the whirlpool that means you're too close to scylla and she's going to eat you with her tentacles so as they go through there some of their people get eaten and they just book it through manage to make it through with only losing minimal crew members may the souls rest in peace and they come down here and take a play take a break on the island of helios where there are some lovely sun cows these cows are beautiful, they're big, and Zeus is mad at them still, so he decides to strand them on the island for a month, and all of their food runs out. So one of Odysseus's, like, look how close they are to Ithaca, like, they're so close. One of Odysseus's crew members decides to eat one of the cows, which makes the god Helios that owns the cows very angry. They take off in their little boat again, right? They're almost home. And what happens, but Zeus strikes them with a lightning bolt, and everybody dies except Odysseus. So Odysseus gets, like, washed back up here on a piece of shipwrecked wood. Even this piece of shipwrecked wood gets eaten by Charybdis, gets spit back out. He manages to survive and gets washed up down here on the island of Calypso, who is a beautiful goddess. Um, and he hangs out there with her for about seven years, um, unable to leave the island because the gods are all mad at him. Finally, Calypso says, uh, the gods say, okay, fine, you're allowed to leave the Isle of Calypso. And so he builds a raft and starts taking off and then Poseidon finds out, hey, what are you doing leaving your little, your little island there? You're not allowed to go anywhere. So he destroys the raft and then... Odysseus just kind of ends up floating all the way up here to Sharia, where he, and this is where he's finally discovered, shipwrecked. Um, and they give him a nice little boat and send him home, finally, to Ithaca. So that's Odysseus and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad business trip. Thanks for watching.